Hi everyone, welcome to Python Programming. Today we are doing a one of the project related to the world population. So this is a world meter website and from here I imported uh, the data about the world population. So this is the data. So in this data we have the country, we have a population, we have a year change, how the year changing uh, that increasing year by year the population density we have land area we have migrants how many migrants are there fertility rate also we have and what is the mid age and how the urban population is increasing also the world share so it's very important data so we'll doing some analysis using this uh, data so first of all i imported uh, some library here uh, numpy panda seabone and matplotlib sklearn for creating the models now i'm simply importing my data so the data equal to pd dot read csv i want to read a csv so underscore csv and uh, my data is uh, this one so i'm copying the path of this data so this is the data path now uh, i want to see a data so data dot head and uh, how many rows and columns uh, there so we will check this and now we have a data so we will check the uh, data with the info data dot info now we can check the data shape so how many columns we have how many rows we have we can check with the uh, this is the uh, range and the uh, data types of the uh, data also i can check with the describe sorry i check with the shape so this is a shape of the data so so this is a uh, data shape is here 234 and 12 columns are there 234 rows so uh, i can check uh, also the describe so with the describe we can check uh, basic analysis like uh, mean median mode uh, about of the data so you can see that this is population by year we have year change mean median okay minimum standard maximum everything is here this is a count of the data 234 and let's check the basic uh, stuff like uh, how many columns are uh, how many rows are empty and how many columns are there that uh, null values containing the null value so that we will check with this so simple we need to check uh, uh, with the data dot is null dot sum so now we can check uh, about the nulls value in the data so it's showing the null value is zero nothing is null value is here let's check the uh, any values also first of all uh, we have a data in this data we have the uh, s number so we need to drop this s number first of all because uh, this is not for use uh, i can't use uh, this for the any analysis so i'm dropping this data uh, column first of all so data dot drop then this is my column so i want to delete this column and uh, the axis will be one because this is a column and in place equal to true so the data uh, that column is drop it let's check if it is drop or not so i'm taking the head five only so data is drop okay and uh, also i see some null values are there so i need to remove this null values you can say this na is there okay so i want to delete this na so how we will delete it and uh, if we want to delete because if i delete the na so you can see this full row will be deleted because this is my country name and this is population i want to i don't want to delete it so i want to replace this na or uh, do some uh, another uh, inputting the another thing so i can do uh, the one uh, basic steps for uh, this one that is uh, inputting inputting missing values so inputting missing values we are doing here so let's suppose if we have uh, the numerical one so numeric values so how we will replace the numeric values with the mean value so let's suppose i have one range okay uh, what is the mean of the uh, that column what is the column average of that uh, that one so that i will be put in that in the missing value so that i'm doing here so num to data dot select underscore d type so d types is my numeric value so include include np dot number dot columns then data num equal to data num dot apply 
so what do we need to apply so we are doing the uh, numeric value to convert to numeric to underscore numeric numeric okay so then if the errors are there so errors equal to course then data num equal to data num dot fill na so which value we need to fill data num dot mean so mean value we need to fill then uh, this is is done so this is the number okay so this is done let's see about the numeric data here data num now uh, now i run it now you can see here we have the all the numeric values same we need to do with the uh, if we have the categorical data if we have the string values so for the string values we are missing uh, we are replacing with the most occurrence value uh, that is uh, mode okay so for the categorical data i'm simply writing the cat underscore call equal to data dot select underscore d types so i'm including here include so same uh, syntax for like that so i'm writing here object because that is the object it's not a numeric so object columns enter data get underscore column so that will be equal to data get underscore call dot fill na so we are filling with the which one we need to fill uh, with the most occurrence number so i'm writing here get underscore call dot mode mode is for putting the most occurrence number there mode dot i lock and and this so this is done for the categorical data okay now if uh, i want to check you can check it if it is there or not okay so now uh, simply i'm writing data is null dot sum so now you can see here we have uh, the all values will be zero okay now uh, i want to do analysis uh, on the part sum uh, related to the how many we have uh, the values related to the how many population of the world okay so let's suppose i know the most popular uh, population in the india then china then united state then indonesia then pakistan so uh, i'm creating here the one visualization so we can easily understand how uh, which population is the maximum of the of the which country so uh, simply i'm uh, creating the world cloud here so for the world cloud i'm importing here world world cloud import word cloud okay and uh, now i want to uh, create the visualization like the country first then uh, if my country is india is a maximum population so uh, it show the the country as a big name in the word cloud okay so here i'm writing the code for that one country country underscore count equal to data dot group by we need to group by this group by country so c is capital country then population so population population dot sum dot reset underscore index so that i need to uh, do with the country count okay now we need to uh, put the code for the word frequency so word frequency will be country is pop for country 
comma then pop in zip then country underscore count then my country will be here then comma country count country count population so what is the population population is here okay now we need to put our cloud here so world cloud so what cloud equal to word cloud width of uh, my world cloud will be let's suppose i'm giving the 800 and uh, height i'm giving here the 400 and uh, background color background underscore color equal to i'm giving the white of the background color okay then uh, dot generate underscore from underscore frequency frequencies to word underscore frequency okay now so my word cloud uh, i get it the here now next step will be plot the word cloud okay so so word cloud is uh, created now i'm putting here plot dot figure then fig size equal to i'm taking the 10 comma 6 then plot dot im show so i want to show here the word cloud and uh, enter pollution will be the pollution pollution enter pollution will be bilinear so bilinear then simply plot dot show so you can see here this is uh, is created the first is name is showing india then china and uh, also we have the all the name according to the population is showing okay so for, i'm putting here the plot dot axis is of then it will be looks good okay then also i'm putting the title of the this one plot dot title and word cloud word cloud of country country population so now you can see here axis is off and also is showing the uh, no of axis will be here so it's showing like good first we have india then uh, we have a china then we have the indonesia united states brazil so we can identify which one is the highest one and uh, according to the uh, these things then uh, i want to do some analysis on the uh, one more on the migrants so how the migrants uh, which country have the maximum migrants and how that migrants are increasing so let's see here so for the migrants i'm uh, writing the top 10 countries okay so top 10 country migrants i need to check so simply data dot sort values so i want to uh, check the so this is the migrants column here 
okay and i want a sending order so sending equal to false then dot head so simply it will be give you the top 10 migrant migrants here uh, countries so you can see here the top 10 migrants countries are here the maximum migrants uh, in these countries okay now uh, i can easily plot uh, any visualization on this so simply like uh, i'm creating the sns plot so sns dot bar plot okay so data equal to my top 10 top underscore 10 underscore migrants yeah. then comma x x equal to my migrants comma y equal to country country so now oh, it will be create uh, the you can see here this migrants which country have the maximum ukraine because you know the war is going on the ukraine then after that we have united states then syria then when venezuela then canada united kingdom germany australia japan and the france so uh, the top uh, 10 are this so this is we can identify here and also i want to uh, see the density of uh, how the densities of the countries is will be going on which country have the maximum density so that also we can uh, do with this sort one so i want to see the maximum density of uh, which country have okay so so then we can uh, see the analysis related to the so let's suppose uh, I want to high population densities in the country. So we will see it and uh, we can identify the higher demand for initial goods and services. Okay. So uh, which country have uh, need the higher demand for goods? So like uh, we have here, if we can see here the maximum density of uh, is the Monaco, Monaco, Singapore, Hong Kong and uh, this country is this is the top 10 countries they have the uh, maximum densities so uh, like density is means like we have a higher demand for the initial goods and the services okay so let's suppose we have here the 24360 density and the population is only 36297 uh, so that means people per square kilometers uh, with the population of the density so people per kilometer are potential candidates uh, candidates okay so then we can identify here so let's see here how we can uh, top 10 countries for the high uh, high population density so i'm writing the code for this here sorted underscore data okay and uh, by i can go for the density so density so ascending is false and i want to see the top 10 only and simply i will be plot here the one of the bar plot okay so i'm plotting the bar plot here px dot bar and my sorted data comma x so in this we are taking the x and y so here i'm taking the country comma y i'm taking the density and color i want uh, i want like uh, color i can take by the uh, country okay so country color and now i'm putting the labels here labels so labels like uh, country we have country equal to country then density equal to population uh, density okay now let's see the 
according to the density so peaks dot par now you can see here the uh, country wise density so we have the uh, top 10 are monaco then monaco singapore hong kong and uh, then we have the all these countries they have the maximum density uh, in the world the highest uh, top 10 countries with the highest population of density so this is we have done some analysis on this population data so we can understand how the population is increasing how the migrants uh, which country have the maximum migrants are there which country have the maximum population so we can use this visualization and uh, we can show uh, with the python we can do the analysis thank you guys